Okay. Uh, today our uh, our topic is uh, precedence diagram. So precedence diagram it is an advancement of a node diagram. Uh, last time we saw the node diagram. Now what is node diagram? In node diagram we present the activity in a node and it is a finish to start a relationship. So activity A, activity B, so B is following A. B can start once A finishes. But node diagram, it is an advancement of, uh, sorry, precedence diagram, it is an advancement of node diagram. So it was developed by, um, say, professor, Oh, it's not working. So it was developed by Professor uh, Professor Fondal about 1961 or say 60s, around 19, uh, 1960s. Now, what is this method? This is an advancement of node diagram. So it can do something more than node. So what it can do? It can do obviously the finish start relationship. Then it can do start to start relationship. Then it can do finish to finish relationship. And then uh, start to finish relationship. Now what does it mean? It means one activity will finish, other one will start. Similar to node diagram. A, B. So B can start once A finish. This is similar to node diagram mostly used. We use it the most, the most. Then start to start. It means, so this is my start side, this is my finish side. Start side, finish side. So start, finish, start, finish. So it looks like this. Say A, B. It means B can start once A started. If A does not start, B cannot start. Then finish to finish, similar, say two activity, one here, one here, A, B, E. Finish to finish, so uh, I can go this way. So B can finish when A finishes. Now there is other way to represent it. Sometimes we can do this way. This is also correct. Instead of this, we can do this. Or we can go from here, this way. Same thing, yes. So it means this can finish on A finishes. It means B can start once A start, once A started. And this is finish to start the most common. Once A finish, B can start. Now start to finish, it is not so common. Uh, even we do not use it. It means so two activities start. Uh, so once this activity starts, this can finish. So start to finish. If this activity starts, so if A starts, B can finish. It is uh, uncommon, but uh, precedence diagram it can accommodate this also. Sometimes uh, we combine. Combine means so mostly we combine these two. Mostly we combine these two. Uh, how? Okay, again, start to finish. We do not use it, so I can delete it now. Now finish to start. It is uh, this. It is the uh, simply the node diagram. The common diagram we saw last uh, few, few classes. Once activity will finish, other will start. So now we will look here. Start to start, start to finish. Okay, sometimes we combine how? Say one activity A. Uh, okay, maybe I have no space there, so I will delete everything. So activity A, activity A, activity B. Say this takes seven days. This takes also seven days. 
start to start means say here or I can make it beautiful sorry that means B can start once A started or maybe add a two days lag so two day lag to make it more complicated other way uh, it is start to start relationship start to start other maybe finish sorry yes finish to finish it can finish once it finishes now for this diagram what will be our uh, forward parts backward parts so seven days so starting at the end of zero finishing end of seven now if we go here two parts first is start to start so it can start once a started with two delay so it can start two now it takes seven days so it may finish nine now it is not final we have to check this part also so this is just my preliminary okay keep it now come here finish to finish finish to finish what does it mean it means this can finish once it finishes so it finishes after seven it can finish after seven that means this one is telling it can finish uh, seven eight nine or whatever but not before seven this one says that now if i write yes um, if i write here nine it complies with with this but if i write here say seven try with seven here it cannot start before two because two is lag it is following this way start to start so i must write here two so if i write a seven it is not messing so i cannot write here seven similarly i cannot write here eight so nine is is okay so the, my final finish date is nine that means this project is taking nine days uh, uh, yes now if i uh, go back well, it is a very small part of the project, uh, but still, though, let us try to go back. So, nine days it is similar, it takes seven days. So, let it start to if I go back, finish to uh, finish to finish, it finishes nine, so it can finish nine this way. Now, if I follow this, this path, so it is starting to two days lag. That means it can start. Uh, so it start two two days lag. So it must start at zero. Now we can see there. This activity takes seven days, but I have zero to nine. That means it is possible if this activity is um, interruptible. Interruptible. Interruptible means. So it is taking seven days. For what I can do, I will work uh, say four days, then two days of this my rest period, then I will work another five days. How are you? Uh, no, no, another three days. So actually, I am working three days and four days, seven days. This two day I am not working. It is my rest period or do something else. So this is okay. Now, it is only possible if my activity is interruptible. If I can wait, for example, forming the reinforcement uh, or doing the format for the concrete forming, I can do some part, wait two days, then do uh, other part. If it is not like this, say pouring concrete, if I start, I have to finish as soon as possible. In that case, what can I do? So, I have to sense either this or this which one can I send this no way because it is starting to two days lag so I must start on, on zero now can I wait here what is this it is telling the finish to finish relationship it is finishing nine now it means what it can finish after this one finishes so if I finish here on seventh there's no problem for that so in that case if my activity is say continue so that kind of activities we call uh, contiguous contiguous or simply continuous 
if my activity is continuous or continuous, then I have to write 7. So this 7, it is for continuous, 9, I can write it for interruptible. So, so far what we did, precedence diagram, it can do finish to start, start to finish, finish to, uh, sorry, um, start to start, oh, I forgot. So we, in precedence diagram, we can do finish to start, finish to finish, start to start, start to finish. We can do four, four times. Now it is not so common, it is very common. This three not so common, but uh, who knows we may need it in our uh, scheduling um, orgs. Now next we learned about contiguous, that means continuous. Once we start a activity, we must finish it without, without uh, giving any gap period. Then we learned about interruptible. Interruptible means we can wait, uh, we can pause our work for one day, two day, three day. This is interruptible. So based on the contiguous or interruptible, sometimes we may need to adjust our late start and late finish. So here we can see that. So there's no uh, like uh, without knowing this, I cannot tell the answer here. So sometimes we may need to adjust based on my logic. We cannot as, uh, adjust as we like. We have to follow the logics. Uh, okay, maybe let us see one more one more example, simple example. This time make it simple. Say activity A, it is taking four days. Activity B, it is taking three days. Let us start. Uh, start to finish relationship. It is not so common. Start to finish relationship. Say I have a. Uh, two day lag here. Say so two days lag. Then what will happen? So it will start. It number zero. Uh, end of zero. Finish four. Finish four. Now this can finish once it is started with at least two days lag. So it can finish. Uh, so zero plus two. So it can finish two, three or so on. So it is started zero, two days lag, it can finish two, three, four, five, six. Now it is uh, finishing four. Now when can I start this? There is no restriction for my start period. So I can start on zero. Now I have, to, I have only one restriction here. So here this can finish now it takes three days so if I start zero I can easily finish after three yes I can if, if I start zero it takes three days I can finish after the three there is no problem here it says uh, it can finish once it is started with two day lag so it can finish two three four five or so on so if I use this no problem Okay, this is done. Uh, then I will erase this. Okay. In this, uh, in this um, small uh, project, if I make another restriction, say um, finish to start, finish to start simply we can do this, or we can do this this save also. Yes, same thing. If we do this, is there any change? Let us see. It it takes four days. Starting zero takes four days for no problem. It means it can start once it is finishes. This can start once it is finishes. So this only saying start date must be four. What about this one? It this one says it can finish once it is started after two days after. So two zero plus two, so it can finish two, three, four, five, or whatever. Now we cannot change it. It came from here. So it takes three days, so it can finish after seven. Now if I write a seven, there's no problem with this. 
there's no problem with this. Okay, so this is the case. So we can see that this uh, early started, early finished, it is not sharp in precedence diagram. Based on my logic, we will have to do it. Now if I go back, 7, it takes 3 days, so 4. If I go back to here, here it finish, sorry, it starts, finish relationship. So if I come here, following this path, it must be 0, it takes 4 days, 3. Now if I do this, is it okay with this? What does it mean? It means its finish date is 2 days, at least 2 days after it, it, it starts this. So if I write here 0, finish 7, I have 2 days left, no problem. That means it can finish on 7th, that is uh, more than 2 days from 0. So there is no problem here. So if I write, uh, write this, uh, like I am satisfying both this condition and uh, this condition. Now regarding uh, lag, not sorry, not lag of float, similarly, yes, this minus this is my total float or this minus this is my total float. So that is for total float. This minus this or this minus this. Free float is the early start of this minus this. So total float here is zero, free float here is free float is also zero. Okay, we will continue this uh, precedence diagram. This is just uh, starting again. Precedence diagram is, is the advancement of node diagram. Node diagram can do only finish to start. This diagram can do uh, finish to start, finish to finish, start to finish, start to start. Some different options. Sometimes we combine this if we need. Now in, in our real life, it is not compulsory that you will have to use this. Node diagram is, uh, most of the cases node diagram uh, is sufficient. And that is easy, it is not so easy, uh, but in special cases we may need it. So we should uh, learn it. And again, sometimes we combine different options. We can incorporate legs, it is very common. Okay. Mm, we will see uh, in our next video. Uh, I will show you more examples, bigger examples for PCS diagram. Uh, see you then. Thank you.